Hey folks, it's Steve K 5 JUF. Hope everyone's having a good day out there. So the, today what I'm going to cover is a video on C4FM, uh, what they call Group Monitor, which is a feature that allows you to see uh, many stations uh, on your radio in the same uh, frequency and digital ID. And I'm also going to cover digital ID. So kind of going to cover two things and they're they're both uh, both related. So what we'll start off with is uh, reviewing reviewing what C4FM is. And one of the things I'll mention, um, I had a previous video where I showed you how to program memory location 20 uh, for C4FM. Now part of this video and this exercise is kind of prerequisite is that you already have your channel 20 pre-programmed uh, for C4FM. And if you'll go back and watch this video link here, which I'll put in the, uh, the, the, the notes on the bottom of the video, you can go back and get your radio up to the same point so that this um, demonstration will be a little more useful to you. So just kind of a little uh, background there. So again, C4FM is a digital mode, uh, Yesu System Fusion, which is a, where they have, you know, made a hybrid communication protocol where they're able to do FM and, and uh, digital uh, with automatic mode select and so forth. So uh, it's a pretty cool mode. Just just kind of a quick overview. For the most part, we're going to be using digital narrow. We'll talk about digital voice wide later, but digital narrow is what we'll be using because it does contain your data data for your voice and also uh, information uh, location and so forth. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and do the group monitor function. So what you would do is uh, the group monitor function would allows you to display icons on active stations on the same frequency and digital ID code. And what you're looking at here is this is an example. And to access this, you would just simply press the FM list and then press the group monitor quickly. And this will bring up this screen here. You can see any particular stations that are in that chat room. Click back to clear the screen. This is an example of what a station would, uh, what, what a particular group monitor function would look like. This shows you here, this would be, for example, my radio. And you can see there's two additional stations and each one has their call sign. Also, they're transmitting on the same frequency, but they're also using this digital ID code 00, which I'll talk about that later, but uh, that's essentially like a CTCSS code, uh, which allows you to have more private conversations. So they have uh, 1 to 99 different uh, what they call DGID codes. 00 is basically simplex means you're talking to everyone. This kind of gives you an idea of uh, how the digicodes work. Essentially, if your radios are on the same digicode, for example, here, you'll have communication. Same thing here. And what we're going to do today is we're going to program number 50 into our radio and demonstrate this. But if you had a room that was, for example, at 50 and another room at zero, these stations would not be able to talk. Same thing here, if you had one at 25 and one at 50, they would not be able to talk or hear each other. So that's how the DGID works. It's essentially like a CTCSS code that goes into a repeater. Because technically on FM, you could talk CTCSS and use the, it would have the same functionality. It would be kind of like a coded, uh, you have to have the code to hear the signal type thing. Essentially on a repeater, C4FM, most repeaters will probably always be set to 00, zero which is again means everyone uh, can hear the repeater and talk into the repeater. Uh, theoretically, I suppose you could set a repeater to a code of 50 and that would actually restrict all of the uh, uh, users to only those users that happen to know the particular code of 50 that would allow them to access the repeater. So it's kind of like a CTCSS code. So again, the DGID function, this kind of goes through here, takes you through the process here, press the FM list and hold. Uh, this will bring up the uh, 10 memory locations. By default, we're going to be here. And then, of course, what you do is you'll select number one and you'll click trans, you'll touch transmit. You'll enter 50, tap enter, and then on the same screen, tap re uh, receive. And then again, uh, you'll enter 50 again. And then, of course, hit tag, and you'll hit the Abilene. So we're going to do all this in the video, so don't worry too much about this. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to give you an overview. And then, of course, if you wanted to clear the screen, you would click back. Now, this section here shows you how to actually 
take that memory location 20 and go in and select uh, digital ID, for example, memory location number one, which has a code of 50 and 50. And then what would happen is you would go in and select number one, click select, and so forth. Now we're out. Now we're toggling back and forth. And again, I'm, I'm going to go through all this in the video, so don't worry too much about uh, the steps and so forth. Now, once you have the code set to, for example, memory location one, which has a DGIG of 50 and 50, then what you would see if you go back to group monitor, you would then have 50, 50 here. And then those stations, of course, talking to you would also have to be on 50 and 50. And of course, to cancel, click back. So again, familiarize yourself with how to program the uh, memory location at number 20, uh, accessing group monitor feature, programming a digital ID uh, into one of the 10 memory locations, and then, of course, assigning that to the simplex frequency. So anyway, that's the video. We're going to go ahead and flip over to the radio, and we'll get started. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching this, and uh, we'll go to the radio. Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Steve, Cal 5 juf so today I got a video I'm going to go going to go over uh, some features on the Yesu for C4FM. We're going to talk about using the uh, group monitor function and the digital ID function features on the radio. So what I want to show you, and I'm going to reference this in the email, but uh, I had a previous video where I showed you how to program memory location 20 for C4FM and on this particular frequency. So I'm going to put that in the video. So I'm going to start off at this point here with memory channel 20 already programmed in my radio. And if you don't, if you're not at this point, go down and watch the video in the in the uh, body of this uh, video, and this will get you up to this point here. So, what I'm going to show you is first is what's called group monitor. Group monitor essentially is a feature on Yesu that allows you to have QSOs, but also see all those stations that are on the same frequency and on the same digital ID. And I'll talk about the digital ID here in a moment. So, on memory location 20, I'm going to go ahead and press the function M list, and I'm going to go over and I'm going to press group monitor. Now, what will happen is if there were stations present at this time, you would see their little icons show up here with their call sign and, and, and usually their distance is what the default setting is. So that's what they call group monitor. Now if you'll notice over here the transmit light every so often it will beacon and you may have seen it it flash just a few seconds ago and what's happening is it's beaconing out to see if there's any stations on the air. You can see it right there. I'll get it right there again. You'll be able to see it over here by doing that, if there is a station that's on the correct uh, digi di digital ID, which we have 00, zero you will actually see it and it just beaconed again. So this is called group monitor mode. So if you want to have a QSO, a simplex QSO, on this frequency in digital narrow with the group ID set to 0, you can do that. And you'll actually see different people pop up here. Now, what we'll do next is I will show you how to clear this. Now, what I want to talk about is these little codes here, and this is called digital ID. Now, the default is 00, zero which means that it's essentially open squelch, anyone can hear you, and so forth. So let me clear this. Now what we're going to do <coughs> is I'm going to show you how to set up the digital ID. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to press and hold FM list and then we're going to press and hold the group monitor and it's going to bring up this screen here. What you have here are 10 memory locations and you can put in any digital ID code. The digital ID code by default 0000, zero, zero, zero means you can have a conversation. It's an open conversation like an open squelch. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this memory location number one and there are 1 to 99 different uh, codes that you can use, D DGID codes, and I'm going to set this one to 50. So what we'll do, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this down and make this blue. Now I'm going to press transmit, and I'm going to enter 50, and I'm going to press enter. 
Now you see the transmit 50 just appeared. Now I'm going to press receive and I'm going to also enter 50 and I'm going to press enter. Now what you notice here is now we have a digi code of a digital ID code of 50 and we have a receive code of 50. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a tag and I'm going to call it Abilene. Now, now we have a memory group that's been programmed for Digicode 50 and remember there's 1 to 99 receive on 50. So this essentially is like a CTCSS code. Now, what we're going to do next is notice with the frequency this is the frequency here that we were on memory location 20 and I'm going to select 01 and watch what happens. Now it's going to start flashing up here telling us that on memory location 1 we are no longer using 0000, we're using memory location 1 which has a code of 50 on the transmit and 50 on the receive. Watch what happens. Now it's blue, and look how it's turned green. I'm going to click back and clear this. Notice what's happening now. What I've done is I've taken this C4FM simplex frequency that originally had a code of TX00 and RX00, and I have assigned it a, a digicode of 50, which is transmit is 50 and receive is 50, and you see how it flashes. So now, anyone that has the same code as, as, as I have this set to, 50, will be able to talk to them. If they don't have the same code, we will not hear them and they will not hear us. So this is essentially like a private conversation. Now to clear this, what you would do next is you would go ahead and press the FM list, Press and hold the group monitor, and then you'll just go back up here and change it back to 00, zero and then it'll be opened up to the, anyone on the frequency. See how it turned green? And now it stopped flashing. So that is how you enable the DGID. You set it, you set it up in a memory location. And you can also set, you know, memory location too. You could put code 75 here. You could put code 90 here and call these, uh, you know, anything. But uh, that's how you do it. So what you would do is with your frequency, if you want to go ahead and activate it, a memory location, press and hold the FM list. Press and hold group monitor. Now press and hold select. Now what we can do is we'll go back to the group room press FM list now press the GM monitor quickly now we're back in group monitor but notice now we're only listening to stations that have the same 50 and the same 50 on the receive so what we've done is we've gone from 00 to 50 so it's still flashing up here and it's still beaconing so it's it's working good and if we cancel out that'll clear it so there it is flashing. If we want to go back in the group monitor, FM list, press this quickly, and now we're in group monitor. So at this point, any stations that have the same transmit and receive code, they'll be able to talk to us. So anyway, have fun. Uh, I'm going to uh, hope you enjoy this. And uh, 73, and thanks again for watching from Steve Cal5JUF.